Hello and welcome to True Audio Files. Before I get into the topic of the day, I wanted to basically talk to you about my social media pages, most specifically though, uh, my Facebook group, which is called True Audio Files actually. Uh, we're getting slow migration of, of uh, people that watch the video to the channel and I'm really hoping I get some more people out there uh, joining the group because I would love to have some you know discussions during the week and overall you know with you guys posting stuff we had a post I think it was earlier today showing uh, someone playing a record on there and it was it was awesome I want to see more of that more interaction with everybody out there uh, but I'm also on Twitter and also on Instagram so all the links are in the description on this uh, YouTube episode. So, also, uh, for those of you who are relatively new to the channel, the records behind me are records that I have purchased this week. Uh, for the most part, uh, and I think it's definitely the case here, these are all either new releases or reissues that have come out this week. You know, the reissues in this case being the two-tone poets that have just come out this week. And the two first Roxy Music records that uh, just got reissued again this week that are half speed mastered. So uh, this week, uh, and it, so the Tone Poets most specifically, but to a lesser extent, maybe these, hopefully, <laughs> um, are kind of the topic of the week. But all the, but probably a little bit more to the extreme than these, and that is, are audiophile records getting harder? Too, too hard to buy. I was going to say harder because it's definitely getting harder, but too hard to buy. And what I'm, uh, one of the things that I mean by that most specifically is just, uh, you know, some of this might also be the uh, supply chain issues that are, that are out there. Uh, some of it's also the fact that probably record sales have just skyrocketed and the pressing plants just can't keep up. Uh, but, you know, things, I just noticed that in a lot of cases, and it's specifically, most specific, I should say, to um, MoFi is probably the biggest issue that I've seen, where they just can't keep up with demand. And in some cases, you know, they probably had an agreement with the original label slash artist to only produce a certain amount of the records. And they're getting sold out sometimes even before they hit the market. You know, they go up for pre-order uh, and before the pre-order is done, they're sold out. Uh, you know, we definitely have seen that with... The One Steps are a great example of that, where most of the time they're not necessarily selling out before they hit the market, but those ones are definitely selling out probably within a couple of weeks of being available. So, and, you know, the analog production stuff, there's a lot of stuff that's been like that. Um, they've been reissuing some old jazz titles, you know, like this is just an example of one, uh, the, the uh, you know, Arnett Cobb, and then this uh, Coltrane Soul Train. These are two examples of ones that, you know, they'll be on, on the website for a day or two, or, you know, the Soul Train uh, one happened to be on there for a few days, which was surprising, but it, it again, sold out. So, you know, even after raising prices, they're still having a hard time keeping up with the demand. You know, the uh, another example is the Miles Davis UHQR. I believe, I, I'm pretty sure they pressed 10,000 at least. Uh, they may have pressed more. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, because my memory is uh, not serving me correctly as to how many they made, but, but they sold out uh, already. And, you know, they've now just reissued, or not reissued, they've... Uh, might be a reissue. However, they've just come out with a Jimi Hendrix Are You Experienced UHQR. They have, basically in this time around, they've printed 20,000 right off the bat before they even announced it. So it's ready to go, ready to ship out. And they've also raised the price. You know, those used to be 100 bucks. Uh, they're now $125. And that particular one is $125. And it's just a single record. So they're actually more money than the, they're about the same money as the One Steps, uh, but the One Steps are on two records and 45 RPM, where there's only really one 45 RPM 2 LP UHQR. But regardless, the new Jimi Hendrix is 125 bucks. So same as a One Step, but single record 40, uh, 33 RPM instead of 45. So, uh, so not only I think is it a little bit harder to, 
to buy the audio file reissues because they're selling out very quickly, but also just because the prices have skyrocketed. I, I mean, these uh, have gone up in price. I used to be able to buy them on Amazon for, I think, $27, and now they're pretty close to retail now on Amazon for you know somewhere between $35 and $38. I think they've gone. I think the retail price on the Tone Poets is forty. Uh, you know they have a classic vinyl reissue series, which gone went up a little bit in price as well. Um, those are those probably aren't classified as audiophile, but I would classify them as audiophile because they're basically almost identical to the Tone Poets, except for the uh, outer jackets are not quite as nice, but they're cut the same facility. They're pressed at a good pressing plant. Uh, and they sound phenomenal. Uh, and they're just great, uh, great sounding. So, I don't know. I, I would love to hear what you what you have to say and what you're experiencing because from what I'm experiencing, uh, it's definitely a lot harder. I used to be able to go on to, for example, Music Direct, which is one of my favorite sites. Uh, I don't get um, sponsorship money or anything from them, so I just want to put that out there. But uh, they were always a great resource for Mobile Fidelity, mainly because they own Mobile Fidelity, but you know, there are very few Mobile Fidelity records that are available for purchase on their site right now because they just sell out so fast. And again, I used to wait until just even just standard releases came out uh, and until I ordered them. And I can't do that anymore. I have to order them before they become available or else they sell out. You know, like the Johnny Cash, I have a Johnny Cash one that sold out not long after it became available. And luckily, I got it right before. Uh, it sold out. But one prime example of one that I was waiting for to come out before I ordered it uh, was the Run DMC Raising Hell Mobile Fidelity. And it sold out before it even hit the market, before it uh, before pre-orders ended. So kind of want to hear what you have to say. Are you having problems with being able to buy all the audio file reissues you want, whether it be because they're selling out too fast or they're just the prices are getting out of control? Um, let me know what you say down, what you think, I mean, down in the comment section below. Also, if you, know, if you liked what you saw here, please hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel. The more subscribers and more likes we get, uh, you know, the, the more it helps my channel grow. And also, if you want to know when my new videos come out, hit that alert bell. And check me out in the, uh, on the social media groups that I've got in the description as well. So that's everything I've got for today. Thank you very much. Have a good one.